Of course, with one uh, with one LED source, you will not see anything of that image here, this plate of the vessel. Thanks God, the light here is diffused on the perimeter of the cell, and that is the only reason you can see this. Because if it was just one light source, I show you, you will not see anything of this loop here. So this here, this is actually the edge of the cell. This is an actual photo taken by the by the experiments done by the creator of this video. So what I want to do is I want to um, further debunk what uh, Emmanuel is saying here about this um, line here being created by the light um, from the perimeter of the ferro cell. Uh, he is claiming that this light source alone would not light up this uh, this curve here, this uh, um, this artifact that we see right here. Uh, Emmanuel is claiming that this uh, reflections off this surface um, are the cause of this uh, what we're seeing right here. So what I did was a, I took a couple of pieces of glass that I had that are much bigger than the tiny um, 50 millimeter in diameter ferro cell that I was using in that um, in the video. And so uh, the assumption here is that these edges here, so according to um, Emmanuel, the um, perimeter of the, let me go back to the video, uh, the perimeter of the cell is uh, getting uh, illuminated and it is the cause of this pattern right here. Okay, and uh, so what I'm going to show you is uh, when I illuminate, um, when I take the LED light and place it near the edge of this uh, much larger ferro cell, you still see this uh, sort of egg-shaped pattern. Okay, and so here's a little video I made um, where I move it around. And first of all, you can clearly see that this light is not illuminating any of the edges of the square ferro cell. And you can clearly see the um, this loopy pattern that I, you know, that I showed in the previous video. And so I think this 100% um, beyond a reasonable doubt debunks what, um, what Emmanuel is saying in this uh, section of his video. And of course, when you place a circle of lights um, in the vicinity of the magnet uh, using the square, giant square ferro cell, so here the ferro cell, the light box of the ferro cell is um, on top of the magnet, but underneath this um, square piece of glass, you can see that all the curved lines appear and forming the beautiful uh, uh, hypotrochoid pattern that has been um, popularized by the ferro cell. And so I just wanted to make that a little bit more clear. I don't think I made I don't think I made this um, my last in the last video. I don't think this was as um, convincing. What I said was as convincing as what I said here. And so in summary, I used a larger square ferro cell and I placed a magnet under it and I put an LED light at the edge and you still see this um, you know, elliptical slash egg shaped uh, pattern. And uh, you also get a very nice ferrocell image. Um, this ferrocell was, um, because the glass is not optically flat, this was just two panes of glass from a couple of uh, cheap dollar store um, picture frames. Uh, you get a lot of bubbles and it's really hard to disperse the ferrofluid evenly. But regardless of all that, it still works very well as a ferro lens. So um, I hope you all are having a great Sunday afternoon and um, I'll be back.